Hello guys and welcome back to Excel Share Academy. Today we are going to do one numerical on restriction endonucleosis sites. Okay, so these questions they also come for two marks type and especially from the more bio session. Okay, so let's do this question. It's very interesting also. <clears throat> so echo R1 and RSA1. So these are the two restriction endonucleases. So already it is given in the question itself that it requires six and four base pair sequences respectively for the cleavage. So what does it mean? It means that echo R1 in a DNA sequence, it needs around six sequences to recognize by this enzyme. Okay. Similarly, RSA1, it needs around four. Okay. So let's say that it needs uh, six sequences like this. Okay. So we have got one, two, three, four, five, and six. And RSA one needs four. So let's say like this, four sequences in a particular DNA stretch. Okay. So let's say five prime to three prime it is. Here also it is five prime to, sorry, here five prime to three prime. Okay. Now what is the question? So in a 10 kilo base per DNA fragment, how many probable cleavage sites are present for these enzymes? <coughs> so they're asking, uh, what is the probability or getting the number of cleavage sites in the entire um, 10 kilo base pair DNA if we are using echo R1 and RSA1, okay? So now how to do this question? So guys, this is very simple actually. You just need to know the basics of the probability, okay? So how we are going to do this thing? Let me clear, yeah. So let's say first, let's uh, talk about the echo R1. So we know that it has got three, uh, six base pair sequences. Uh, it's okay even if you don't remember actually the sequences C, C, T, A, G, G. Okay. Now, as I was saying before that it needs around six sequences, right? Six base pair is needed. Now, what is the probability? Let us say that these are the sequences C, C, T, A, G and G. Now, what is the probability that uh, of C coming in this particular site. So among all the four bases, so we have got four bases. So what this is total four. So what is the probability of occurring of C? It will be one by fourth, right? Again, it is C one by four. Similarly, what will be the probability of T? It will be one by four only. Similarly, A and G. So we see that all these nucleotide bases have got the probability of occurrence as one by four. Now, if suppose these uh, C, C, T, A, G, G has to come together, then what will be the probability? So what you need to do is then just multiply these. Okay, so what we get over here, it's one by 16. Then we get as one by 64. With this, we get as one by 256. Then one by 1024 and all this we are getting one zero one by four zero nine six. So what does it mean? So among all the four zero nine six probability, there is one possibility that C C T A G G will occur. Now the question is: in a 10 kilo base pair DNA fragment, how many probable cleavage sites will be present? So what you're gonna do next is you have got 10 kilo base pair, right? So this is kilo base pair divided by the total number. So that is your 4096. So how much we're getting around? How much we're getting around 2.5 something. Now what's the option over here? We see that this might be the option. Okay, now let's see for the RSA1 also. So RSA1, it has got four sites. So what is the four sites over here? RSA1, it has got the four base pair. Already it is given in the question. So it is actually the T, G, C, A sequence. So let's say that it has got these four sequences. These were four sequences, T, G, C, A. Now similar as just now what we have discussed. So probability of having T is one by four, G is one by four, C is again one by four and A is one by four. So how much we are getting one by 16, 1 by 64 and then together I'm getting 1 by 256. So similar how we have calculated for echo R1, I'm going to calculate for RSA1. So that is 10 into kilo base pair divided by 256. So this is coming near around 39. 
So now I see that this is the option which gives me around two sites for ECHO R1 and 39 sites for RSA1. So guys, this is how you are going to solve the questions whichever comes for the restriction endonucleases. So say, stay tuned to the Excel Chair Academy because many more questions of different types, uh, basically which come for the IIT JAM and uh, CSAR will be taken over here, okay? So thank you guys for listening. If any still doubts are there, you can comment me in the section or you can mail me at Academy 1228 at gmail.com. Thank you guys. Keep watching.